hey guys i'm back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how can we add controllers to a blazor web app now first thing is when do we need controllers in a blazor application so basically when we work with web assembly render mode or auto render mode for those for the web assembly side of stuff when we want to connect to the server we want to access some server resources we want to access database file system or other network requests or anything like that we need to go via api all right because web assembly runs directly inside the browser not on the server whereas when we use blazor web app with interactive server render mode that works on the server using the signal or persistent connection but with auto and with web assembly the web assembly part runs in the browser only so when we want to access anything on the server we have two options either we can use the minimal api or we can use the old traditional controller actions api controllers so in this video i'm going to show you how can we use controllers with blazor web let's quickly create a blazor web app next layer blazor app add controllers okay next now the interactive render mode we could choose web assembly or auto it will apply for both interactivity location it could be global or per page component does not matter but let's go with global or we can go with per page component as well if we want create it so for dotnet 9 dotnet it is going to be apply for both or all the almost all the upcoming blazor web app i guess okay our application is here here we have two projects blazor app add controllers and blazor app add controllers dot client so this client this is the web assembly application here we have this pages and all now if you want to access anything on the server whether it is database it is file system or anything we need to go with that controllers route before that what we can do here inside this controllers project what we'll do we'll first go to the program.cs okay here in the services section before builder dot build we need to add the controllers we want to enable the controllers we will tell the application that our application needs controllers as well so here we can say builder dot services dot add controllers just controllers not controller with views that is for mvc with the view part but here we want to have the api control so we are going to have add controllers now we need to use the controllers in our http pipeline so here map static assets map razor components interactivity modes and after this here either here after these razor components or maybe before these razor components we can have our app dot use controllers use Oh, sorry not use map controllers map controller using this it will enable the controllers now let's quickly add a controller so in the main project in this blazor app add controller the server project we are going to create a folder let's call it controllers inside this let's quickly create a controller so controller is just a class we are going to add a class let's say test controller it is going to be arrive from controller base and to make it api controller we can add api controller which actually adds the default model validation and all then we can have our routes as well so here we can go with the default this type of route we'll say api slash controller which is this test control name although i don't follow this convention but you are free to use it in here we can create any action uh, action method so we can say public let's say i action result and just some test method from here we can simply return okay hello from test control okay and let's quickly add the http get with the default thing with empty so it will be the route for this is going to be the route from here from the controller level so slash api slash 
controller name which is this text so this square bracket controller this means this text without controller so api slash test now here we have not provided anything so this is going to be like this only url will be this if we have provided something here let's say test method then the url would have been api slash test test method like this here we need to add the slash but let's not have it now here if we see this is get this is api control this is unprotected we are not using authorized attribute here so right now we have one controller then we have couple of pages we have a counter page with slash counter then in the components pages we have a home which is with direct slash weather which is slash weather okay now let's do this the controller which we added api slash controller uh, slash test we can go to our layout our nav menu let's add one more nav menu here here we'll say instead of weather oh i copied this where it gone so here let's say api method and here href we can say api slash test save it and let's try to run it we'll see if the controllers are added and if we are able to go to that controller our app is coming with slash we have this blazor app blazor page counter this is a blazor page weather now this counter it was web assembly it took time now web assembly is there we go to weather now we have this weather so all these are blazor pages but now if i click on api method we see without that left section and we have direct content which we added in our api controller with api slash test on this url so this is going to go to the our api controller the controller action and then this is all other pages are blazor so this is how we can mix and match we can add the api controllers in a blazor web app okay now there is one more major thing here how to handle auth in blazor and in controllers because that could be different so do let me in the comment if you want a dedicated video for that because that is going to be a more detailed and explained video we need to do a lot of things to enable auth in both of the things in blazor and in controller within the same application okay so i guess do let me in the comment if you guys need a dedicated video for this okay so that's all for this video please like this video share this video and subscribe my channel i'll be back soon with some other cool video till then bye bye happy coding